And so we return through the portals for yet another quest that brings us to Sanamar in Asheron's Call. This time, we'll be meeting with a Viamontian you can't miss, standing by the gates leading to the Royal Hall. Her name is Elena Dufurza. Welcome to the Abyss, it is I, Void Money, and today, we will light the beacon. The truth is, this quest isn't all that long or trying. Bruh. It's actually the shortest one we've covered so far. Newcomers to Sanamar might even wish to try this quest before any of the other ones when they arrive through their first portal. In fact, this was my first quest in Sanamar. You may recall, after talking to and solving Lorca's penguin dilemma, that he suggested we speak to Elena Dufurza next. Elena is pretty hard to miss, as she's hanging next to the portal leading out of town. In fact, you probably saw her while talking to Lorca. Speak to her, and she explains. The kingdom of Viamont requires your assistance. The beacon at the top of Beacon Tower requires regular maintenance. I have been unable to reach this beacon due to wasps and other creatures taking up residence on the tower platform. Place this gem within the beacon and you shall have the satisfaction of knowing that you have done your king a great service. Following her pleas, she then provides you with a beacon gem, after which she'll say, When an agent of Viamont gives you a task, you had best tend to that task immediately. Go to the tower. You know, these Viamontian loyalists are really full of themselves, but in any case, we continue with our quest. If you check out the description of the gem, it reads, A flawless stone used as a lens for the beacon tower. Use the portal at these coordinates and climb the platforms to the beacon. Once at the top of the platforms, place this stone within the beacon to fix it. Going through the beacon tower portal, you might be surprised to find that the tower isn't so much a tower as it is a levitating series of platforms floating above the Halatian Isles. It may remind you of Cloud City, or that first level in Super Mario Bros. 3, where the platforms fall as you step on them. Making your way through the platforms, you'll have to fight your way through a number of Pinthos wasps. The wasps are pretty easy, however. You might struggle a bit with their magic, which at low levels can one-shot you. But even if you eat it, getting back won't be hard, considering the portal back to Beacon Tower is right in town. In any case, occasionally the Pinthos wasps will drop their wings. Pick them up, they'll have their uses for later. As you near the end, you'll also come across a few water golems, playing sentry around the exit portals and the beacon. There's also a chance that the golems will drop a pyreal moat, which is useful for crafting Atlan weapons. Once you clear the area around the beacon, drag Elena's beacon gem onto the beacon, and voila, the beacon is lit. And with it, you get 25k experience. But we're not through yet. Now, if you go through the exit portal and speak to Elena again, she says, You have done the Kingdom of Viamont a great service. Come back to me later. I may have more for you to do. In the meantime, if you wish to pay a visit to Anton Soletzi, I understand he is in need of assistance in some matter. You may also wish to speak to the barkeeper, Jean Vaden. He sells rumors you may find of interest. Along with her words, she'll give you a paltry 1,000 pie reels and three adept healing kits. Now, hopefully you haven't forgotten about those blue Pinthos wasp wings, because if you've acquired a halfway decent stack, it might make the quest a little more worth your while in the pie reels department. Walking over to the collector, just across the courtyard from where Elena <clears throat> rewarded you is a collector who will take the wasp wings off your hands and repay you the same amount of pyreals as Elena just gave you for the whole quest and he'll also give you 1500 experience for each wing now that's what I'm talking about but alas fellow Isparian our time here must be cut short we will return to Sanamar but another day to perhaps see what Anton Seletza has for us if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, click on the Ashron's Call playlist that's appearing on your screen right now. Or, if you find yourself wanting to jump into Cold Eve, click on the video that popped up explaining how you can play Ashron's Call today. Lastly, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It helps a lot. Till next time, so long.